Hi guys, this is my video on how to install the Rocket ROM Jelly Bean version 3 on your Galaxy Note GTN 7000. So guys, if you are coming from any Jelly Bean ROMs, just follow the steps. And if you are not from any Jelly Bean ROM, hit link 1, download the kernel, flash the kernel from the recovery, reboot into recovery and continue the steps. So the link 2 will give you the ROM file. So once you have both the files, transfer it onto internal memory and just follow the steps. Just hold the up volume, power and the home button at the same time. Keep holding it till you see the Galaxy Note displayed on the screen. Okay, let go the buttons once you see this. So guys, you can see that I'm running the fields kernel. So if you're on the fields kernel, you just need to follow these steps. And if you're not on the fields kernel, get the fields kernel from the link one flash it reboot into recovery and just follow the steps from here choose wipe data factory reset yes now go to wipe cache partition yes wipe cache now go to advanced Go to wipe Dalvik cache and hit wipe Dalvik. Once you have done that, now again go back and this time go to mount and storage. Go to format slash system and hit yes format. You need to fo do this uh, step as well. It's really, really important. And now go back. Now choose install zip from SD. Choose zip from SD. And just navigate to wherever you have saved the link to. That's the Rocket ROM Jelly Bean version 3. Select it and hit yes install. Alright guys, we are up here. Just skipping the basic settings. So now we are running the Rocket ROM version 3. Alright, so this is the Rocket ROM version 3 and this is the Android 4.1.2, that's the Jelly Bean. There you go. Alright guys, so coming to the review, uh, this ROM is really really good. I've been uh, using this ROM since the last two days and everything works fine. Even uh, the smart rotation have been added from the Note 2. Just quickly showing you that. Alright. There you go, the smart rotation is enabled and it works fine. I have tested it and all the new motion controls that you get with the Jelly Bean is available and working perfectly. Uh, also you have this uh, CPU spy, CPU monitor added to this uh, setting menu. You can just uh, check it. You also get the multi window. Okay, uh, and it works perfect. Just uh, let me just quickly show you. All right, say I want to open up gallery on one and internet on another one okay okay it work it works fine you also have air view working fine just showing you okay there you go you have it there you have it there so the air view is working fine and you don't have any issues with the functionality that you get with the phone, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, camera, anything like that. You don't have any issues. Uh, just one known issues is that on 1000, if you are shooting a 1080p video, you cannot zoom in. S Note works. And there you go. It works, no issues. And guys, the voice talk has been removed and the S-Voice has been added. So double pressing the home button will open up the S-Voice and it works perfect, no issues with it. You also have paper artist, no issues with that. You have USB switcher, uh, which helps you choose between the MTP mode and the master res mode. If you change your USB mode to the master res, it's easier to transfer files. And guys, for the battery, you know, for heavy users, I get around uh, 8 to 10 hours. And for moderate use, I get like a full day of battery backup with this uh, ROM. So the ROM is really good, really smooth, really fast. Everything works perfect. So that's all about my video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay subscribed. Bye-bye now and have a good day.